everyone. Today on Hello Susan, we're going to make faux handmade paper. So I have uh, all my supplies here. And what I have is copy paper, cardstock, you can use tracing paper, and this is all your base. I also have some uh, watercolor paper, and I think I got some linen paper. Now, these that are colored, that's from an inkjet printer. These two, I did not seal them in any way. These two, I did put a matte clear finish on them to see if it'll stop it from running. But even if it does run, I think it's going to be okay because we're going for the handmade paper look. The other thing that I've got here is I've got some tea leaves that's uh, left over from when I had a cup of tea. And they're all dried. I've got a, a glue mixture that is... Uh, three parts glue to one part water, so it's pretty runny. And I just used Elmer's glue. Um, let's see what else. I've got some dried flowers, and these are all from my garden. I've got daffodils, lily of the valley, roses, blue days, blue bonnets. Okay, and then I've got stamps. And then what I'm gonna do with those is I'm gonna use uh, this archival ink so that it doesn't run and we're going to stamp some of the backgrounds. Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way now so that we can get set up to start. Okay, so I decided to start with the pink paper and it's just a watercolor background that was uh, printed out on an inkjet printer like I said before and what we're going to do is we're going to do some stamping. So I've got a butterfly stamp here, and I want to go ahead and do that. And you know, I'm making this so I can put some in my garden fairy journal. So I just want to have some uh, flower petals and things. Isn't that pretty? So I'm just going to put it around. What I think I'm going to use this paper for is to make uh, tags and maybe some pockets and just just some little embellishments. So it's kind of going to be like a master board <laughs> type thing where you're just going to cut it all up. I like this butterfly, don't you? see which way do I want that to go I kind of want them to be all different ways so I saw this idea on treasure books and it, it was a real old video I think it was three years ago she was uh, doing this on her channel I put a cereal uh, box liner underneath my paper so I wouldn't get my surface all messed up. But I sure am glad I saw that video. Thank you so much, Treasure Books. It's just what I was looking for, for something different for my garden, my fairy garden journal. So I'm going to go through uh, this one step by step with you, and then I'm going to do some off camera so that you don't have to sit and, and wait. Plus, I have to do them, and then they have to dry overnight. So I'll be back tomorrow to film how they turned out. I'm pretty excited. Okay, I think just a little little bit around the edges. Since I don't know exactly where I'm going to cut them. Hmm. I think we need one right in there somewhere. Okay, so now we're going to let that dry. 
Well, I got tired of waiting, so I decided to go ahead and do a different one. So that one's drying. So what I'm going to do is the first step that you do is you get your, your glue mixture and you just paint it with the glue. And this is the one that I did not set. You remember I said I didn't, it's inkjet printed and I did not put a, a setting agent on it. Okay. And then the next step is you take your ground tea and you just sprinkle it on. That looks pretty, doesn't it? It kind of is changing the paper already. Can you see how it's picking up some different colors? Like in the background that I didn't see there, they're, it's turning kind of pink. But anyways, so a little bit of tea. And now let me get the, the flower petals. You know, it's funny how this was a pink petal. And then after it's dried, it just loses all color. This was a red and white petal. That one was purple. And this is Lily of the Valley right here. And you just need to work a little quick because you want to get this on while the glue is still wet. Oh, here's one that's got some red still showing on it. Let's put some more of those on. This is pretty, huh? Okay, this is a daffodil. I don't think I can use that big of a piece. We're finding out. This is the first time I'm doing this. I haven't done it before. I've been thinking about it for, for a while. I like that. Okay, so to seal this, you take a, a napkin. I've got a bunch right here. And you, you take all the plies off and you use the second ply or the, the second one is supposed to be really good to use because it's got a little bit of the ink left. Can you see how there's a little bit in there? Maybe we should save that one and just use a white one since we've already got print on here. Okay, so what you do is you get your napkin and you set it down. Oh, and I didn't tell you this, but let me tell you now. What I'm doing, this piece of paper is actually cardstock. And it doesn't matter about the wrinkles. Don't worry about that. So you just push that down with your fingers as good as you can. I can see here where it already had kind of dried some, or maybe that's just where the bigger pieces of the flowers were. Okay, so then you take your your glue mixture again and you just glide it over. You don't want to push down hard or anything because it'll tear that napkin. So I'm thinking just very gently. If you do tear the napkin, uh, it says just to take a piece of napkin and go over the hole. But you want to make sure, like all those places where, like right there, where it looks like an air bubble, you want to make sure that that gets totally saturated with glue and sticks it down to the page. Because when I go to cut it, we don't want it there to be an air bubble that dried and then it's not adhered and then everything just comes off. Okay, so you want to make sure you go out to the edge of the paper. I was worried that maybe this brush wasn't going to be soft enough, but it seems to be doing the job fine. 
and I'm kind of just doing it at an angle, like almost flat, because I don't want to tear it. And I'm trying not to go over it too much. I can see. Uh, on the next one, I'm not going to use such big pieces of flowers, because it seems like that's where it's having a hard time adhering. But every place where there's something little, it seems to be okay. So now I want to make sure that the edges are all sealed. And I think, I put my glasses on just to be sure, but I think that that's all stuck down. I don't see any air bubbles, and I don't think I ripped it any place. If I keep messing with it, I might. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way and set up the pink one. I think it should be dry by now, and we'll do that one next. Okay, I've got this pink bag that I'm using to protect my surface on this one. Okay, so the first thing we do, just like before... So we're going to paint it with the glue mixture. And I'm not trying to put it on real thin because I, I want um, I want it not to dry so quick. But with it being summer like it is, you know, it just dries faster. Okay, I think we've got a good coat on the whole thing. Let's move that out of the way now. Okay, next thing is going to be tea. And this was chamomile, uh, chamomile lavender. All I could say about that is it smelled really good and you can't let it steep hardly any time at all because it started tasting like soap. <laughs> I had to do it <laughs> twice before I got it. I thought, well, it smells good, but okay, I think that's enough tea. So now let's do some uh, flower petals. And on the bigger ones, let's just tear them into little tiny pieces, I think. Now, other people I saw were putting strings uh, they were putting cheesecloth, uh, even pieces of the the tea bag left over. They were doing stuff like that too. But since I'm doing a garden journal, I wanted to do these flower petals. I may try it again and do do some other things. Okay, let's see if we can do that. Uh, some blue bonnets. You know, it's real funny. The people who had this house before I bought it, had did, they liked wildflowers. And so every year I have blue bonnets that come up just in random places. And I sure have enjoyed them. This is the first year that I've ever dried them and that's because I knew I had this project that I was gonna do. Okay, I've got some blue days in here. They turned out very papery thin and very cloud-like. Let me see if I can, they're a little bit big, but I don't want to tear them. Okay, let's see what else we have. I don't know if I want to put too much but I also want it to look like it's flowers. All right, let me see if I can find some more of those blue days. Here's one. I really like the background being other than just plain. And I don't think that I needed to even set it like I did these. It seems to be 
doing exactly the same with or without it. So that's good. That'll save me some time. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna do. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put another piece of uh, napkin, and you can use tissue paper for this part. You can use napkin. Um, I've got both. Let me find another piece of napkin that I separated. Here's one that's got a lot of pink. It might go good with this one. The second layer, it, this one had pink roses. So let's try this. Okay. So we're just going to lay it down. And remember, you don't have to worry about it if it gets wrinkled. Because that kind of adds to it. Oh, that looks pretty. It made the where the pink roses were, you can see it. Okay, so I think I'm doing better. It's still dried right there. That glue just dries really fast. Okay, so let's go ahead and start putting the glue again. I guess I should tape that down. I didn't think about that. I'll hold it. So if, if anybody watching has made this paper too, uh, tell me how you did it. Because I think that the it's just endless what we can do. Oh, this is going to be so pretty in my in my journal. Look at that pink. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple of more sheets off camera. And then when I do the reveal, I'll show you all the sheets so you can see. So you can see, I mean, you don't have to watch it because, you know, it, it gets monotonous, doesn't it? Okay, so until tomorrow, see you tomorrow. Hi everyone, it's morning and I'm back and I wanted to show you how the faux handmade paper turned out. It feels just like homemade paper. It's got texture, there's wrinkles, it's a little bit bumpy. Oh, I think it's just wonderful. So let me pick up where uh, we stopped and move these over to the side. This is what it looked like when we left. And this is the one, if you remember, was printed with my inkjet printer, and I didn't do anything to stabilize the color. I, it was already kind of a blurry print, but I think it turned out just great. But look how easy this is. To, this is a cereal box liner, and look, it's not stuck down at all because it was sealed at the edges. So you just peel that up. Move the liner out of the way. Okay. And then you just cut the edges off. I did I did check to see if it would tear. It doesn't. That glue is pretty strong. So I'm going to make uh, tags for sure. But you could make pockets, envelopes, belly bands, uh, just cutouts, whatever you think you, you want to do. You can make a cover out of this. See, it's very flexible. All right, just let me get these other two sides off. Then I'll show you the other pages. And in the next video, I'm going to decorate uh, some tags. We're going to create some tags and decorate them. <laughs> I can't seem to cut and talk at the same time. <laughs> okay, there you go. 
and the back is just as clean as it was. Now, I did mine on cardstock because I knew I wanted to make tags. And here's the next one. See how you can see all the petals and stuff, and can you see the wrinkles? Here's the T. I think this one might be my most favorite because it's kind of neutral, and I do like that white right there. I think that's going to be a wonderful tag or pocket. Now here's the pink one. That's going to look so cute. And remember, we stamped those with the archival ink. That's those little blue daze flowers. And then this one, I put the napkin that was the second sheet from the main design. And so it created this, this pattern on it. They're all very different, don't you think? Well, this was fun. I hope you try it too. Let me know if you do. See you next time. Bye-bye.